Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. I just wanted to post a quick video to let you know about the new crowdfunding campaign for Dungeon Universalis, which went live on Kickstarter today, the 20th of September 2022. If you've been following the channel for a while, you may know that at the beginning of the year, the good people at Ludic Dragon were kind enough to send me a review copy of the second edition of Dungeon Universalis. This is a game that isn't going to retail, but as I knew some people would want to grab a copy, I said I would let you all know when the next Kickstarter for it went live, and, well, here we are. Full disclosure, although I was sent a review copy of Dungeon Universalis, this video isn't sponsored, and neither is it an endorsement for this campaign. When I initially reviewed Dungeon Universalis, I came to the conclusion that the game wasn't a good fit for me personally. It's very deep, very thorough, expansive, and packed with tiny details that simulate real-world situations. But that all meant it was something I just couldn't get into. I couldn't dedicate the time to it to become fully invested in the game's world, and to be so familiar with the extensive rules that the game stopped feeling like a slog to get through. So, the game wasn't for me, and this video isn't me saying you all need to rush out and back this game on Kickstarter right now. But, this is me saying if you like deep, immersive games that are rules heavy but incredibly generous, then you may want to watch my review and playthroughs here on the channel and then check out the Kickstarter campaign for yourself and watch some of the reviews and playthroughs posted there. I'll put links in the video description below for my videos and the campaign. My previous videos should give you a good understanding of what the game is all about and how it's attempting to be a one-stop shop for adventure gaming. For the second edition, in one gigantic box you were getting a complete gaming system that you could use to play through narrative campaigns or standalone missions as a board game or role-playing game. You could play solo, co-op or competitively against a dungeon master. You could customise your game by adding in or leaving out advanced rules, using the rules and components to play your own adventures or even recreating adventures from other gaming systems, porting in other tiles and miniatures you already owned. For the new 1.3 edition of Dungeon Universalis, Ludic Dragon have taken the concept of a gaming system and made that the focus of the crowdfunding campaign. This time around, you are looking at a base box comprising 4 books and 942 cards and then add-on purchases of standees and map tiles. This is allowing the publishers to reduce the size of the core box to keep pricing and shipping competitive with a promise that it will reduce only in size and not in possibilities and then there will be those extra purchasing options to help you customise your gaming experience. Ultimately, you are buying a toolbox and you are getting to choose some of the tools to put in it. There is also a new expansion pack called New Challenges which introduces more adventures and monsters, and there are associated map and standee packs for everything you need to run those adventures as well. This new modular approach to the game does mean you need to work out your pledge carefully. For example, if you want the core game, there is a pledge level for that at €85, Euros, but you won't get any standees or tiles to run the adventures. You would have to use elements you already own, or perhaps even draw out the maps on graph paper. If you want the official tiles, you either need to add the tiles pack for €29, Euros, or the tile set PDF for €15. Euros. You will also need to purchase the standee pack at €22, Euros, or provide your own miniatures. And what are the key benefits of backing this game now anyway? I guess the biggest one is, if you want the game, this really is the best way to get it. Ludic Dragon have stated, as with previous editions of the game, Dungeon Universalis 1.3 will never make it into retail chains. If you don't back, you are going to have to rely on grabbing a copy from a reseller. That probably won't work out cheap. So, there we have it. If you like expansive, detailed adventure games, and you're looking for one of those lifestyle games that's going to take over your gaming evenings for the foreseeable future, you may want to check this one out. As I mentioned before, the links are in the video description below. Let me know your own thoughts, because that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.